uses momentum against him. The guy went to throw some sort of like big loopy hook, and he just pulled him on through, and and he was off balance. Right, the uppercut world. Yeah, but you're right though. Nowadays, like chokeholds and guillotines and triangle locks, that's all like common knowledge now. Like, yeah. Everyone's seen it on Sports Center or seen it on you know whatever, and everyone knows. It. Like kids know how to do that. Now. You know what I do? I still rely on the old common sneaky weasel. I don't want to know it's me. I don't. I, I, I pretend I'm not mad at you, and then I'd spot you while you're lifting weights, and then I just, just drop it on you. <laughs> so before a fight, you take him to the gym. <laughs> Haven't you kind of ruined the whole approach of the sneaky weasel by giving it away, <laughs> right now? Yeah. That's the last time we work out, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> sneaky weasel sounded like some sort of anal penetration move. That's where I, I thought, I thought it was he was. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know where that was going. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be some borderline well, you rape know, thing you, you to do. You pretend that you're really buddy buddy with somebody that you really want to fuck up. And you get way to the opportunity time so that, that you can beat them down with as little resistance as possible. Like on the bench press. Like on the bench press, they're carrying the weight. What are you, what are you gonna do? They're gonna drop the weight while, they, while you punch them in the face or something? Wow. Yeah, you start them out fighting a guy who's like seven foot one, then you slowly work down, and then by the time they're fighting a guy who's five three, it feels like a seven foot one guy because you're so tired. It's right. a great way to work out your fighting.